Hello, this Science of Sport video is part of BTEC Sport and Exercise Sciences Unit 2 Functional Anatomy playlist. And we're looking at the Learning Aim F, which is about the musculoskeletal system. Now F2 tries to draw together all previous knowledge from um, Learning Aims D and E, the skeletal and muscular system, adds a little bit more information and asks you to analyse movements. Typically, there are some images you need to um, observe and analyse and write about. So this is part one, movement analysis exam, questions 11 and 12. So the specification, by the time we get to the F uh, learning aims, really, as I said, draws together knowledge from the muscular system, the skeletal system, plus a few other elements. This is all movement stuff that you should have done before. Really, these two sections, the body section and the movement efficiency, parts are relatively new and added onto your knowledge but much of it is stuff that you've learned in the earlier learning aims. The purpose of this video really isn't to go too much into the content but more to help you understand the sort of exam questions you might face. Now there are a lot of short answer questions through your exam paper but um, there is a pattern of question 11 and question 12 so let's have a look at those two. Question 11s are always eight mark questions. So they require a reasonable amount of information from you. Notably, the command verb here is analyze. So it wants you to look critically at an image often or a scenario, but typically there's an image um, and do something with it and, and give your, your outcomes. Question 11 also consistently has axial and appendicular skeleton as part of the question. So what we know from that is that question 11s only want you to talk about the skeletal aspect, not muscular. That's a really important thing to understand. Question 11, if it says axial and appendicular skeleton, basically analyse them, how they contribute towards a particular movement, it only wants you to talk about the skeletal system and not the muscular system. So actually, this question is quite specific. You know it's more extended. It, it's, uh, there are eight marks available. You know the specific movement that they want you to talk about from standing to forward bending and the image supports that. You know the three specific areas of the body that they want you to focus on. And you know that you have to analyse the skeleton the axial and appendicular elements of the skeleton, not muscles. So moving on to question 12, each question 12 is a 14 mark um, analysis question. This time it just says, it doesn't specify the skeletal factor, it says analyse the required movement. So this is a, an indication that they want more from you than the skeletal system this requires you to um, analyse not just the skeletal system, but how the muscular system contributes towards the movement that they want you to focus on. But again, it tells you that they want you to look at the preparation to execution phase. So this is preparation phase labelled and then stepping up on the box with the, the right knee elevated to a right angle um, is the execution. So that's the movement talk about nothing beyond that movement. Um, they've also indicated the specific limbs by shading that they want you to focus on. And in the question, they've specified they want the left elbow, the right hip and the right knee. Okay, so again, they, they direct you to the outcome of these types of questions. Now, this sort of movement analysis or skeletal or uh, muscular skeletal analysis can be really easy marks um, and what we will do is we will build up your capacity to firstly interpret the questions and secondly uh, select the right information to answer the questions and of course thirdly to write it in the right way.